Despite the growing wealth and power of the Asian community here in the UK, there still exists a certain kind of tokenism. There still is a glass ceiling. And underneath the superficial integration, there are divisions. Not about race or color anymore, but more economic. No one wants more immigrants coming in. And even in cities like Leicester, set to have a non-white majority population soon, the ghettos still exist. Leicester in East Midlands is often hailed as a symbol of enterprise and immigrant success. And it's all too apparent here on Belgrave Road, also called the Golden Mile. The area, once marked for demolition, is where Asian immigrants, most of them from Africa, settled. This Belgrave Road has become very pro-Indian and uh, you can see that more Indians are more comfortable here. They can do what they like. They've been accepted as the, as the community, but because the white community has rejected us, that's why we have had a separate uh, ghetto system. Asian immigrants have been coming to Leicester since the Second World War, but it hasn't always been easy. There are a lot of things that I had to bear, like I was wearing a turban at work, and they used to, you know, make fun of it. But I uh, still sort of stood my time and, uh, you know, and uh, survived that. Workplace as well, I mean, very well educated people when they go for interviews, they know that they are qualified for that particular job, but they don't get the job that because of their colour. Immigrants today make up about 40% of the population, making Leicester one of the most ethnically diverse cities in Britain but it has had its share of race issues. In the 70s, sporadic incidents of violence were common and it helped to live and roam in familiar Asian areas. The ghettos were comforting. They were very difficult to find to a canteen. I used to work in a city council and we were only two of us who were in the same department and we were so scared to go to the canteen even if my friend is not with me. The Asian community is well established now economically important and politically assertive. But in spite of their newfound presence in the mainstream, there are underlying divisions. Asians are given jobs with a tokenism and Asians are given jobs and Asians are participating into the mainstream way of life with reluctance. But white residents of Leicester say they feel marginalized in their own country. I'm quite frightened and so a lot of other English people around me to sort of become a minority in your own country and it's sort of them being ethnically cleared of areas. Now, okay, we're not being forced to do that, but people are feeling very uncomfortable in the surroundings and feeling the need to move away. 